<laughs> hey guys, my name is Naj. Um, I have been natural since October 2012. That was the last time I got a relaxer. Ever since then, like I've been transitioning and I cut all my hair off in July 2013. It was like this big. What made you do it? Um, so I went natural because I just got tired of getting chemical burns from perms or relaxers, whatever you choose to call them. And um, when I was transitioning, I went through like a medium chop and I was wearing weave a lot and I took a weave out one time and my hair was just so tangled and matted and I just got frustrated trying to detangle it and I just told my mom to cut it all off. Okay. Yeah. So your mom helped you with your big chop? Yeah, my mom just went through and we just snipped all the knots out and then we immediately drove to the hair store and I bought a wig because I wasn't comfortable with my hair being extremely short because I always was used to hair being like shoulder length. So did you ever wear like weaves or... Stuff like that. Not when I was permed, no. Like, I wore probably, like, three weaves in my entire life before I went natural. Oh, okay. That just wasn't my thing. And, um, did you get any kickback from, like, friends or family when you went natural? My mom. She was, a uh, a huge... Uh, she was just so not helpful or, um, I don't even know what the word is. Not supportive. Okay. Um, I, when I was transitioning, I had, my hair was dyed. And so my natural hair was black and then my transitioned hair was, it was like crinkly or whatever. And then you could see like the line of demarcation and then the rest of it was dyed. And I remember specifically we were in the car with one of my best friends and she said, I need you to get do something with your hair because the, all that color and that textures and stuff is getting on my nerves. And I was just like, okay, thanks. Like that's mad. Like I'm learning how to handle my hair in its natural state. She's like, well, it's just too nappy. You need to figure it out. So that was, that was your mom. How about friends and stuff like that? Um, one of my best friends, well, two of my best friends are natural. Um, they've been natural, like, their entire life. Um, the rest of them, they were like, well, if you want to do it, hey, go ahead. Because I consider getting dreads mm -hmm. um, before, I, like, I did, like, the whole big chop situation. I think you look cute with dreads. It's too permanent. It's too permanent of a style. Well, I actually, I just knew somebody that she just combed hers out. It took her forever. Um, yeah, uh, Melissa. Melissa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But see, see how short and see how small the natural hair community is. Yeah, I mean, my girlfriend, she had she was starting the process of like locking her hair, and so she had like her her coils in for like a month, and then decided like it just was too much, and she didn't want to do it, so she combed her out too. But it's just it's such a process mm -hmm. to comb it out that it's just to me that's just too permanent. And like I know my hair, my hair is very 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 kinky, so it's not it's, it's just not gonna work. I'm just gonna have to cut my hair off, and I don't want to do that. Where do you go for um, tips or stuff like that? Are you are you wanted uh, YouTube uh, parties? You go in there looking for new hairdos and stuff like that. When I first started, YouTube was my best friend. Literally, I did. I got everything from YouTube, um, and I had to learn what worked for my hair because um, I'm a four A, four B, and three C in the very very back. So most of my hair is four A, four B. So I had to use products that worked well for that hair type. And it was difficult finding stuff because my hair is, it holds a lot of moisture, but it also dries very quickly. So it gets brittle. So I tried protein treatments, all my hair broke off. I tried too much conditioner, all my hair broke off. And it was, I had to find like that median, but YouTube was my best friend, like in regards to styles. Like I never knew how to do anything but blow, dry my hair and flat iron it when I was relaxed. So... I had to learn how to flat twist, do rods, roller sets. I had to learn how to do all of that. Products. Do mm -hmm. you buy a lot of products or are you one of those ones that you make your own, like you purchase the ingredients and kind of make your own? Nah, I don't have time to do that. So I definitely buy. I like Garden of Eden, um, As I Am, Shea Moisture, um, and Cantu, and then the, the Dark and Lovely All Natural, that works really well for me. Okay. Um, but I can't use the same thing over and over. Like, I have eczema in my scalp as well, so I have to use things. My scalp constantly changes, like, my skin is changing. So I have to switch products as my skin changes. Okay. What would be your words of advice for somebody that's thinking about going natural? Like, they're on the fence, but they're like, I don't know. What would be your advice to them? Just do it. The amount of freedom that you have with your hair is phenomenal. Like, I've never had so much volume in my hair when I was relaxed. Like, I, I never had it. Um... And I've actually been um, a, a voice of change for a lot for my friend group 
Um, Because one of my friends, I talked to her into it. And she was just like, I don't really know if I could do it, blah, blah, blah. Because her hair is like mine. And she was like, it's just so thick and it's so coarse. Like, I don't think I can handle it. But she did it. And I'm just like, you don't need, you don't need the crack. The crack is not okay. Like, you can definitely, you can do it. Just moisturize your hair. But if you don't have time to do it, you need to find either a stylist that specializes in natural hair. Or you need to make the time to do your hair. Like, if I don't have three or four hours in a day to do my hair on wash day, I'm not washing my hair. I'm just going to bun it up or put it in a poof and I'm just going to keep it pushing until I have time to do it. Because you can get frustrated because it takes so much time. The detangling, the separation, conditioning. Like, conditioner is your best friend. So, if you don't have time to do it, then don't do it. And she just, since I've been doing this series, a lot of the girls tell me uh, about how people approach them. So, I got to know. Is there a difference how guys approach you, you being natural versus when you had the relaxer? Yes. Just even the very first day I decided to cut all my hair off and go to the wig store, um, nobody was looking at me. Nobody thought to grab my number. But as soon as I put this long, silky, curly wig on, everybody was all in my face. Oh, Ma, how you doing? Oh, what's up? You so pretty, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, that's unacceptable. Like, I have a lot of... I realized that a lot of older men, like women with natural hair or people my age that are hip, like if you're not hip or in the now or woke, then they don't really like, like early it. 20s? 26. Okay. So mid 20s. Um, I'm celebrating my, my second anniversary of my 25th birthday <laughs> in two months. <laughs> um, but yeah, if they're not, they have to be in like this certain group or clique or they're like, well, why don't you ever straighten your hair? Like I used to date a dude. He was like, why don't you straighten your hair? And I'm like, because I don't, I don't want to. Now, how do you feel about uh, protective style? You, um... I do a lot of twist outs, um, but I do, like, I had to learn to do my own hair. So I do, like, Marley twists um, or, like, I'll do, like, flat twists and I'll wear them for a few days and then I'll take it out. That way I have a flat twist out. Um, but that's about it. Like, I don't really do, like, I don't really do weaves still. It's not my thing because, I, like, I have eczema, so I have to change my hair all the time mm-hmm. or constantly wash and keep my scalp clean. Um, but yeah, like I'll do, I'll do like twists, full locks, um, individuals, stuff like that. Now, um, I know when I had my locks, one of the things I hated and I, I it just irked me is when people touched, touched my, my hair. hair. <laughs> that happens to you? Yes. I had a lady, um, come up to me and she said, do you mind if I touch your hair? And I said, yes. And she said, oh, you do mind? I said, yes, I do. I had another woman and she was an African woman. I was at my mom's job. And I had just got my hair done. And so it was straightened because I had got a color and a cut. And she reached out and I dipped on her. And she's like, oh, I can't touch your hair. And I was like, no, like, I don't understand why people don't understand personal space. Like, it is not acceptable to reach out and touch somebody if I have not given you authorization to do so. In the workplace. Mm Mm-hmm. Does anybody give you any flack flack or side eyes in the workplace? Um, so I used to be the person that gave the side eyes. I remember distinctively that there was a young lady. She was cool, but we had a little beef. Um, and she was 4C natural and her hair was bright red. And she used to come to work and she would do a twist out, but her hair just, it never looked kept. And I remember distinctively saying everybody shouldn't be natural. And I, I wish I would have never said that. Um, I didn't say it to her, but I said it to like one of my other coworkers. And I wish I would have never said that because that was, it was unacceptable. Um, and from then on, like, I tried to like keep an open mind because I do understand that we all have different hair types and everybody doesn't have the same level of management that I do. Like even, I feel like my hair is sometimes unmanageable and it's, it does its own thing. And, um, so there's that. But I, I do recall, like I went on a job interview and I felt the need to straighten my hair because I didn't want them to look past me and who I am because of my hair or because of my tattoos. So I always make sure like I cover my tattoos because I want you to see who I am. Even though it is a part of me and an extension of me, I don't want you to prejudge me because of what you see. So As men are starting to accept women with natural hair more mm-hmm. and stuff like that, do you see that in, in your travels? Like, you know, I do. Are you starting to get, like, you know, guys checking you out that may not have checked you out prior to, you know, going after Yeah, them? I think in the last, like, 10 years it's become like a thing like and it's it's definitely refreshing 
to to feel like the love from people no matter like what my hair looks like um because sometimes like it's just all over the place or like I'll do like a wash and go and my hair is just like and it is what it is and nobody judges me like I work with a lot of white dudes and they always give me compliments on my hair like they're always like trying to talk to me and like give me attention because of my hair and I mean, it's also, I'm a dope person too, but <laughs> the hair is what gets them. Like one of my people is always like, you know, I love your hair today. Like I can change my hair at full locks. I didn't have Marley twist. I didn't have a twist out. I didn't have a wash and go. And every time he's like, I love your hair. Your hair looks beautiful today. Like, and they'll never try to touch it because they understand the boundaries. But they're, they're yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's good to be receptive. Yeah, well, it's fine. I know. My sisters are very sensitive about their hair. Yeah, don't don't t- don't touch my hair. Like I take a lot of pride and joy into my hair and how I look. And so for you to just take it upon yourself and have the audacity to put your hands, reach out and put your hands in my hard earned work. No, absolutely not. I will not tolerate it. I will not. That's a fight. That's a rumble around my grandma way. I don't play them games. Hey guys, um, my name is Nigeria Thompson, aka Naj. You can follow me on Instagram at Tatted So Sweetly, um, on Snapchat at Tatted Up Sweets with a Z at the end. It's natural to be natural, and I love my natural hair.